Hey, good morning, everybody. This is your weekly forecast reading. Um, I should have popped in to do this reading yesterday, um, but did a daily one instead because I forgot it was Monday. So sorry, this is a day late. It's so easy for me to lose track of time here. So, um, so we're a day late. Okay, I'm just gonna plug my laptop in as the chart fell out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and see what the universe would like you to know this week to give you a little bit of guidance, insight, clarity for you. Okay, so we'll see what cards want to come out for this week. If you're watching, do pop in, say hello, love to know who watches these videos. And of course, let me know how the cards resonate with you as well and what actions of course you're going to take from the cards that come up okay so three cards for you okay so the first is the tower now for me the tower talks about things coming up that were perhaps unexpected okay almost like your foundations have been shaken a little bit okay so perhaps something that you weren't expecting has come up um, something that has almost like shaken you to the core or given you a realization that something needs to change that you can't keep going in the direction that you were going Okay, now quite often we get lots of insight into things that we need to change, but due to time restraints or uncertainty, fear, whatever, maybe we don't take notice of those intuitive feelings or um, facts that we need to change something. And the universe will allow us to go on for so long. And if we don't make those changes, then the universe will come in and it will shake things up. Okay. So that's something to always bear in mind. The universe always acts in our best interests. So let's say you're in a relationship and you know it's not quite right. Um, you know that there are things that need dealing with but you're too scared to end the relationship because of fear of being on your own or you know whatever it may be. The universe will give you so long and it will come in and it will shake it up. And at that point it can be destructive, okay, because you're not in control of the situation. Whereas if you'd dealt with things beforehand, you would feel in control. So there does feel, you know, like a lack of control when the universe steps in and shakes things up. But what is important to remember is that the universe always acts in our best interest. Okay, so it could be that the relationship was completely draining you. It was taking you away from your friends. It was stopping you from achieving your sole purpose. You know, whatever it may be, the universe only acts in our best interest. So if there's something around you that isn't in alignment with you at the moment, you know that you need to make some changes. Now is the time to do it before the universe steps in and shakes it up for you. And that is really, really apparent with the chariot. Okay, it is time to move forward in a different direction. Okay, now I've got something on my screen that is really in the way and annoying. Um... So uh, if you have a look at the chariot, sorry, it's, I've got a schedule right across my screen that's right in the way. Um, if you look at the chariot, she's being pulled in two completely different directions. It's almost as if two opposing forces are pulling her, but the light is guiding her way. So intuitively, she knows which way it is that she needs to move. Okay, she already knows. And the third card really does bring this into into place so she knows that she needs to move away from that relationship or she needs to make a change around a certain area of her life yes there's a lot of emotion involved but she's fully in control even though the horses are pulling in two completely different directions she's fully in control her intuition is lighting the way the moon the moon is lighting her way Okay, so, you know, if you're feeling that things need to change, then now is the time to change it, okay? You have the guidance, you have the intuitive feelings that are coming in and 
trying to guide you, trying to push you in a completely different direction. The third card this week is the Queen of Coins, which for me is very much about your intuition. It's about listening to those intuitive feelings. As you can see, you know, her third eye is fully open. She's fully intuitive. And, you know, the, the Queen of Coins is a very practical, down-to-earth person. She's a very earthy person, okay? She is an earth sign, so that doesn't mean you're necessarily an earth sign. It means that, you know, those earthy traits of practicality, you know, having a nice home life, having nice, you know, calm connection and all of those um, kind of things, okay? So she has those earthy elements around her, and her intuition is really speaking to her, telling her it is time to move forward. It's time to make the changes that need to be made so that home life is more pleasant and relaxed, so that she can focus more on home, family, and all of those things that are important to her. So if you look at the three cards together, okay, I'll work this out one day when I'm doing a live. Right, okay, so, if you don't make okay, oh, I said the word internet. That was a bad choice. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're live or not. It's saying trying to reconnect. I mentioned that word, internet. Which, of course, there seems to be. Oh, okay, so Sean says I'm still live. So I'll carry on talking in the hope that you can still heal me. So put some thumbs up, Sean, if you can still hear me. Okay. Um, so, as I was saying, it's time to make some changes before the universe comes in and makes those changes for you. If you do it, you have control over how it happens, when it happens, etc., etc. Okay, if the universe does it, it will be destructive, but will always be in your best interest. You already know that you need to be moving forwards. Okay, so you, you're already getting the indications here. Okay, so it is time to move forward and your intuition is trying to guide you in the right direction, away from the things that aren't, um, that aren't moving you forwards, okay, that aren't in alignment with what you're doing, your soul purpose and all of those kind of things, okay? And again, intuitively, you know this. You're looking for a more stable home life, for simplicity, for practicality, you know, all of those earthy things that we all look for within family life, within all of those kind of things as well. So this is a very, very clear indication, hope you're paying attention to, Sean, that some changes need to be made. Let go of the fear of change, embrace the change, and let go of the things that don't serve you, okay? So if you're trying to move forwards from a relationship that doesn't serve you, friendships that don't serve you, a job that doesn't serve you, whatever it may be, it's time to make those changes. It's time to listen to your intuition, okay, and take control of the situation before the universe comes in 
and shakes it all up for you okay so some things to really pay attention to this week i'd love to know how these cards resonate with you and of course what actions you're going to take to help you to make some positive changes in your life and to move your life forwards in a more easy earthy and practical way okay so that's it from me for today um quick hello to everybody that's watching so hi mandy hi georgina hi sean thank you for watching me i look forward to finding out how these cards resonate with you what changes you're going to make and of course if you're watching the replay please type in hashtag replay and i look forward to catching up with you all again tomorrow ciao for now